Apple charges. Just apple charges. It's not a creepy monster. Apple have done a recall. Um, just let me put these to the side because they make a bit of noise, the old Apple chargers, when you're trying to juggle six of them. Now look, I, they, they're not even all the ones I've got. <laughs> I've got even more. Um, basically, supposedly, these are giving people electric shocks. Um, never experienced that myself. Um, not even sure how it's happening. Um, yeah. <laughs> I defies comprehension for me to even understand that um, what's kind of exactly going on there because um, obviously it's uh, it's all made out of plastic and I know unless you're kind of sticking your fingers where they shouldn't be um, I'm not quite uh, getting it but uh, I haven't actually heard of anybody complaining um, just out of the blue Apple have done a recall now so this is an Australian plug uh, USB and if I just take that off that bit there is the same globally, and this bit here changes. Um, so that's the Australian version. Um, and so what I've got here is one that's been fixed. So what I did is I went and got one replaced, and um, I kept the others not replaced so I could do a video just for you guys. Um, so I'll put a link down in the description down below. Now, um, I went to the Apple store, this is a really simple process. I literally walked in and went, I've got one of those. And they said, see that guy over there? Go and see him, he'll give you a new one. And basically, I just walked down the back and they said, you're here for a charger. They took it, they, they pulled that bit off and they replaced it with that. As simple as that. And boom, done. Um, no questions asked. And I've got a heap, like this is six. I've got six here, one of, one of which has been replaced. I think I've got another um, three. I don't know where they all came from, but um, they seem to be breeding. Um, so I'm going to take them all in and get them all replaced. Um, as I said, I just got one replaced, so I knew knew the process and I could explain it to you guys. So it's really simple. If you live in a town with an Apple store, just go and see them. Uh, it's so quick and so simple. It literally took me um, less than a minute from when I walked in the door. Um, now, I had a conversation with them. There's information on their website about how to identify your charges. It's not the easiest thing to find, um, uh, but I'll put the link in the description down below. Um, basically, um, it was uh, on the support page down the very bottom, there was a line of text that was like text that was um, charges. But the ironic thing is that if you put into their search box anything to do with charges, the page doesn't come up. Um, so it's kind of weird that they've got a recall on a product that could be electrocuting people, so you think they'd absolutely 100% want people to, to replace that, but obviously it's also going to cost them a lot of money. I'm assuming they're going to leave the replacement window fairly wide, um, but on the other hand, they're kind of making the page kind of hardish to find um, if you can't search for it. So I found that a bit amusing as to why they did that. So, um, obviously this is a round one, and it's not just that it's round and this one's not round, in terms of how to identify whether you need to change. Um, all, the, all the new ones are like this, just because it's a little bit more compact. Um, but basically, if you look on the back, now I'm going to hold this up to the camera, you may not be able to see it, but in this groove here, um, there is a little number. I think you might be able to see it there, because I've got the light kind of catching it. There is a little number. Now, all of them have, uh, the ones that need to be replaced, have a number like that. It's just done with little dots. And when you go in, you're going to get one that looks like this. Now, again, I'll try to catch the light on that. You'll see it says AUS. So that's an Australian one. Obviously, I imagine in the US it says US, and in the UK it probably says UK. Um, if you have one that looks like this, but already has that AUS symbol in there or similar for whatever country you're in you don't need to go and get it replaced and this is all explained on the Apple website um, but if it has the little dot number like this one definitely need to go and get it replaced um, and ironically one of mine and I don't know which one it is uh, that was lucky it's this one I have one charger which I don't know how it turned up in my house it has no number at all and what that it's got Everything else is the same uh, as the Apple products. Um, 
all the text on the bottom is the same, except it looks like it's a slightly different colour. Um, and that's interesting because I know I've never bought a dodgy product. Um, at least it had the same packaging um, whenever I've bought something. Now, um, I'm not 100% sure where this one comes from. Um, I'm not sure. But it has to be an Apple product and it probably has to have that number. Um, I will do a follow-up video if they, if they choose to replace that. Um, without the number on there, I'll let you know. But I'm assuming they're probably going to say that's not one of ours. We're not going to replace that. So just check yours before you head in. Um, obviously, make one trip, unlike I did. Get all your charges together. Uh, make a trip in there. Um, get them all replaced with uh, the new head. Um, it's as simple as that. It's not a. It's not a difficult process. Uh, check out the website. But that's how you identify it. Um, uh, Tell your parents, grandparents, um, your kids, if they've got iPods, um, if they're using your old phone, for example. Um, make sure you go and get their charges. Obviously, if there is a chance of electrocution, that's the last thing we want. Um, so, yeah, but um, obviously, I, you know, you might have elderly parents who've got phones and things like that, and they might, might, may not be up with this news. Um, it has been on the news that there's been a recall, but there's a lot of people aren't going to know about it. So um, let everybody know, spread the word, uh, share this video, um, that'd be great. Um, send it to them, let them know. Uh, happy to help out. So comment below. Um, let me know how many charges you've got. Um, I've got, I think, at least 10. Um, how many have you got in your house? Um, like the video and please, as always, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Um, I'm Simon from Technolife Video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. There it is. Hello. This is Australia. Hi again. Here. Hang on.